Hi everyone, how are you doing today? I am starting a new challenge and I'm calling it A Novella A Week. Really amazing title, I know. Um, let me explain. I've been wanting to get out of the house a bit more <laughs> and also get into a habit of visiting the library more often because usually what I do is I'll go to the library if I have books to pick up, but um, it used to be that I'd go every week when I was growing up with my dad and it was a really great routine to have. It was a good way to, you know, get access to lots of books, but also support the library and support the whole idea of uh, shared reading in community. So um, I thought, what will get me over to the library once a week? Well, if I need to return a book and how will I return a book every week? I will read a book. I will read a very short book and I've defined very short as under 150 pages. And for now, I'm just going to pick up random novellas at the library that look interesting to me. Um, in the future, maybe I'll put in requests, but I think my library has a pretty good selection that'll keep me going for at least a month or two. So my first pick here after looking around yesterday is Chronicle of a Death Foretold by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. And I've never read anything by this author, although I'm well aware of his uh, influence and acclaim as one of the, you know, great authors. Um, he's most known for like one of the foremost authors of magic realism. So I'm, I'm embarrassed I haven't read anything by him before and I'm excited to uh, get an idea of his writing from this shorter book. What's this about? A man returns to the town where a baffling murder took place 27 years earlier, determined to get to the bottom of the story. Just hours after marrying the beautiful Angela Vicario, I don't know if my Spanish pronunciation is still legit, so I'm sorry. Anyways, everyone agrees that Bayardo San Roman returned his bride in disgrace to her parents. Her distraught family forced her to name her first lover, and her twin brothers announced their intention to murder Santiago Nassar for dishonoring their sister. Yet if everyone knew the murder was going to happen, why did no one intervene to stop it? The more that is learned, the less is understood. And as the story races to, an, to its inexplicable conclusion, an entire society, not just a pair of murderers, is put on trial. Uh, so what attracted me to this book? Obviously, you know, here's a famous author I have not read yet. Um, also intrigued, intrigued by the blurb. I think that, you know, I've read plenty of murder mysteries I think there's this hint of um, kind of a, a different take on the telling of the murder mystery, um, almost like maybe telling it in reverse. Um, there is hints at uh, social commentary and commentary upon group behavior, which I think is always interesting. So that's why I picked this one up. I will let you know in a week what I thought about it. And uh, yeah. Curious if anyone has read this author, and what novellas would you recommend for me to read? I'll see you next time. Bye!